Good morning and welcome to Moorhead State University's Ernst and Sarah Lane Bolgeno College of Education Fall 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of Moorhead State University, Dr. J. Morgan. Welcome to the graduates of Moorhead State University. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and members of our university community, I am pleased to welcome you to this virtual academic commencement ceremony. Moorhead State University has been educating students in this very spot for over 130 years and has proven itself to be one of the best and most affordable universities in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Our students come from within the service region, nationally and abroad, and their success is our most important endeavor. As a symbol of MSU's longtime excellence in providing graduates to the state of Kentucky and beyond, we are pleased to have the opportunity to confer degrees on our next graduating class of Eagles. It is important to note that we have nearly 10,000 students at MSU this fall. Additionally, MSU was recently ranked number 17 in U.S. News and World Report top public regional universities in the South, our highest ranking ever. Many of our graduates come to us as first-generation college students. The impact that a regional public university like Moorhead State has on our region and on Kentucky is tremendous. If you are the first member of your family to graduate from college, we congratulate you and those in your support network who have helped you along the way. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Greg Russell, our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Provost Russell works very closely with our university faculty to provide the academic excellence that MSU is known for. Dr. Russell. Thank you, President Morgan. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce my colleagues who are responsible for the effective administration of the university. They are Dr. Jonathan Nelson, Dean of the Elmer R. Smith College of Business and Technology, Dr. Scott Davison, Dean of the College, the Caldo College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Dr. Tony Norman, Dean of the Ernst and Sarah Lane Volgeno College of Education, Dr. Wayne Miller, Dean of the College of Science, and Dr. Lori Couch, Associate Provost for Undergraduate Education and Student Success. Thank you for your excellent leadership at our institution. An institution of higher education is only as good as its faculty. We are fortunate to have outstanding faculty at Morehead State University, and I want to recognize those faculty who are joining us virtually for their hard work and dedication to student success. The student commencement speaker is selected by the leadership team of the colleges. With that selection based on the student's outstanding academic achievements and noteworthy accomplishments at Morehead State University, Dr. Jonathan Nelson, Dean of the Elmer R. Smith College of Business and Technology, will introduce today's speaker. On behalf of the faculty and staff in the Elmer R. Smith College of Business and Technology, it is my privilege to introduce to you Miss Olivia Lauren Lohmeyer, today's speaker. Olivia Lohmeyer of Cincinnati, Ohio was selected as the commencement speaker representing the Elmer R. Smith College of Business and Technology. She is the daughter of Marty and Doug Lohmeyer. She graduated with a 3.94 cumulative GPA and earned a Bachelor of Business Administration and information systems area. A member of MSU's volleyball team and beach volleyball team, Lohmeyer was recently honored as one of six Ohio Valley Conference Scholar Athletes for 2020, the highest individual honor for a conference student athlete. She was also honored in the 2019-2020 academic year as the MSU Elmer R. Smith College of Business and Technology Outstanding Computer Information Systems Student of the Year. She has been a multi-year selection to the OVC's Commissioner's Honor Roll 
and the MSU's Dean's List while also earning multiple OVC Academic Medals of Honor. Lohmeyer is a member of the MSU Volleyball Leadership Team and a volleyball representative on the core leadership team of Athletes in Action. She has also volunteered for numerous on and off campus events, including Better Life Church, College Night, Freshman Move In, and numerous youth clinics. Lohmeyer was named to the American Volleyball Coaches Association All Midwest Region Team and VolleyballMag.com Honorable Mention All American in 2019. A first team all OVC selection for two straight seasons. She ranked 25 in the, in the NCAA in five statistical categories in 2019, including ranking seventh in the country in total points and eighth in total kills. Her 564 kills marked an MSU junior class record and tallied the fourth highest single season total in program history. She was the OVC Volleyball Player of the Year in 2018 and has now earned eight straight OVC Player of the Week honors in the past two seasons. She was also named MSU's Miss Eagle for 2018, the highest honor for a female student athlete at MSU. As a member of the beach volleyball team, she also owns a career record for flight victories with 27 and set the single season flight victory record with 17 in 2019. Congratulations fall 2020 graduates, we did it. I'm Olivia Lohmeyer, a senior information system student from Cincinnati, Ohio. It's been a long few years, but we are finally here and all the hard work has paid off. Looking back, we've had so many good memories. From creating lifelong, lifelong friendships to experiencing Moorhead's beauty, college has been a time in our lives that has taught us how to be independent, responsible, persevere, and overcome adversity. Our journey began as freshmen who didn't know anyone and were still trying to figure out how to do our own laundry and be independent. From thinking that ADMs weren't so bad because you only had it three days a week, to learning that you could still sleep in till 7.43 and sprint to make it to class on time. We learned that college is a bit of a pace change from high school. It might have shocked some of us, but it was a different environment than what we were used to. New people, new sights, new lifestyle. Coming in as a freshman, I didn't know more I could have such an impact on my life, from allowing me to come out of my introvert shell to giving me the privilege to speak to all the graduates. It's been a place where I truly found who I was and found friends that would support me along the way. Sophomore year brought us our first major related classes and allowed us to recognize where we fit in. Responsibility came into play when we had to schedule our classes for the first time on our own, likely with no 8 a.m.s this time. Along with increased independence and responsibility, we learned to ask for help when we needed it and appreciate the faculty that were there for us. We are still learning the ropes and we're not aware of all the lessons we had yet to learn. Junior year presented us with harder major classes and all-nighters during finals week. COVID-19 came around late in the year and decided to stick around. It taught us how to social distance, quarantine, and wear a mask. But most importantly, it taught us how to persevere through the hard times when we didn't think things were gonna get better. Senior year brought senioritis and the canceling of sports seasons. But, what, but we took what COVID-19 threw at us and overcame its adversities one day at a time. Through all the challenges of online and hybrid classes to getting our temperature taken walking into ADUC, this semester has looked different, but one thing remains the same, that we are all part of the Eagle family. We have always had each other and that is something that will never change. 2020 has created a new normal, one where we learn the importance of mental health and taking care of ourselves. A new normal where when you see someone not wearing a mask on TV, you are shocked and then realize it wasn't even filmed this year. Where the introverts get a breath of fresh air from people being in their space and where the extroverts are sad they don't get to hug all the people they want to. But through it all, COVID ta taught us to appreciate the opportunity to play sports, hang out with friends, and receive a smile from fellow students walking by. I know someday we will all look back and miss hanging out at Eagle Lake, the beautiful mountain views, waiting in line for pancakes at the BCM, and climbing up all the stairs and burnt combs just to get to one class. We will miss every moment that has defined our journey and want to do it all over again. But no matter how many times we want to do it all over again, it is time to do what Morehead State has prepared us for, to go out into the world and make a positive impact. Graduating from MSU has given us the opportunity to lead by example. We are to lead not only future and current Eagles, but future colleagues we have yet to meet. This starts with motivating others to do what is right. Moore has taught us to be leaders that are confident, respectful, and focused. 
Being an Eagle alumnus is more than applying what we have learned. It is about taking responsibility for something and making it better than when we started. So I challenge you to make a difference. Make a difference one moment at a time and show this world what MSU is all about. Again, I want to congratulate you all and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors and wherever this crazy world takes you. As always, one town, one team, go Eagles. Thank you, Olivia, for those remarks. Whether in the world of business or elsewhere in other professions, it is important that all of us take to heart what we have heard today from one of our newest alums. Olivia, we wish you much success in your chosen field and career. Formal recognition is given to four-year graduates who have achieved academic excellence. Baccalaureate degree recipients who have completed at least 43 semester hours at Morehead State University and have earned an overall grade point average of 3.50 to 3.69 graduate cum laude, 3.7 to 3.89 graduate magna cum laude, and 3.9 to 4.0 graduate summa cum laude. Associate degree recipients who have completed a minimum of 32 semester hours at Morehead State University and have earned an overall grade point average of 3.6 or better graduate with distinction. These individuals are wearing gold cords today. Congratulations to our honor graduates. Now we will continue with the awarding of degrees. Will all candidates for education specialists and master's degrees please stand and be recognized. Please remain standing. Will all candidates for bachelor degrees in the Ernst and Sarah Lane Bolgeno College of Education please stand and be recognized. Please remain standing. Congratulations on being among the first who will graduate from our newly named Ernst and Sarah Lane Bolgeno College of Education. As you begin your journey beyond Moorhead State and Bolgeno College, we hope that you will leave here with confidence that you are well equipped to make a difference wherever life takes you. We also hope you will always reflect fondly on your time here as among the best years in your educational life. I believe that serving and empowering our surrounding region and its rural communities remains the heart of Moorhead State and Bolgeno College. May we have instilled that belief in you. Many of you may choose to serve in regions states, and perhaps even countries beyond our borders, but I remain convinced that if we keep our hearts strong, our hands can reach and our feet can go farther. Our thoughts, prayers, and well wishes will always be with you as you carry your light to the mountains and beyond. Godspeed and go Eagles. By the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Board of Regents of Moorhead State University, I confer upon you the degree for which you qualify with all rights and privileges thereof. Before commissioning our ROTC candidates, I want to recognize our graduates who are veterans. We are all grateful for what you have done for us and our nation. Thank you for your service. We will now proudly recognize our graduates who are entering the profession of military service, commissioning as officers into the United States Army through the Moorhead State University ROTC. Major Jonathan Ginsley, Chair of the Department of Military Science, will now administer the oath of office to the second lieutenants. President Morgan, Colonel Clemmer, Dr. Russell, Dr. Davison, Colonel Shaw, Colonel Ammons, distinguished guests, family and friends, Welcome to Moorhead State University's 90th commissioning ceremony. I'm honored this morning to present to you two leaders that have completed academic and ROTC requirements and are prepared to join the ranks of the now 745 officers who commissioned through the Moorhead State University ROTC Eagle Battalion. The reality is we do not know what each of these young leaders will experience, endure, or lead others through, but we do know these leaders are trained, ready, and capable of representing us at the state, national, and international levels. Each individual's accomplishments of being commissioned into the Army is not something our small cadre team can do independently, and so I would like to personally say thank you and extend my gratitude to everyone who made their achievements possible. 
Achieving this takes input from family members, friends, professors, university leaders, and ROTC cadre and staff. It is contributions of all these positive influencers and the university setting that establishes the foundations for well-rounded officers to begin their careers. Second Lieutenant Retallick will serve in the Army active duty and Second Lieutenant Skinner will continue to serve in the Kentucky Army National Guard. The commissioning ceremony is a long-standing tradition. It formally transitions young men and women from a cadet to a lieutenant. We will now administer the oath of office to the Army's newest second lieutenants. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Luke Skinner. I, Ben Retallick. Having been appointed an officer. Having been appointed, appointed an officer. In the Army of the United States. In the Army of the United States. In the rank of second lieutenant. In the rank of second lieutenant. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against, against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And I will well and faithfully. faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the President of the United States, I hereby commission you second lieutenants in the United States Army. With your degree now conferred, you may move your tassel from the right side to the left side. Congratulations. You are now a member of MSU's alumni family, joining thousands of former students who studied at this institution. As a new alumnus, each of you is given a one-year membership in the Alumni Association. I hope you will choose to be an active member of the association and will share your pride in MSU with others. At this time, would you all please stand as Abriana Walker and Emily Bowden lead us in the singing of our university alma mater. As we close out this virtual commencement ceremony, we would like to say thank you to each of you as Eagles for what you have done over your time at Moorhead State University. Both spring and fall of 2020 brought challenges to our university because of COVID-19, but each of you rose to the occasion and we all pushed through it. Thank you for your resilience, your patience, and the optimism that you exhibited. Working together as one team, we were all successful. We wish each of you the best of luck as you move into the next chapter and your career, and we hope that you will remain Eagle Strong. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 graduates of Moorhead State University. And now the candidates from the Ernst and Sarah Lane Volgenau College of Education. We'll begin with the candidates for the degree of education specialist. Catherine Jill Hurt. Christy Dawn Moore. Janine Ray Raines. And now the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts. Brittany Page Akers. Nora Lichtig-Cook, 
Amanda M. Creech, Natalie A. DiCello, Cassie Green Bradley, Glenna Henson, Alicia May Kimbler, Alicia Michelle McKenney, Brittany Lynn Money, Leslie K. Saylor, Carrie Marie Smith, Michelle Wegner, and now the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Education. Patricia Concepcion, Brianna Caitlin Cook, Gabriel Darren Helterbrand, Crystal Annette Lyman, Erin McMurray, Angela Renee Rowe, and now the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Teaching. Tara Brown, Claudia Mabel Castle, Kevin Bryant Conley, Jackson Kelly, Morgan Alexandra Lowe, Benjamin Wayne Runyon, Kelsey Schwartz, Brittany Nikisha Stevens, Derek M. Vasky, Ryan Sewell. Now for the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Shelby Lauren Adkins, Macy Lane Allen, Erica Destiny Ball, Heather May Bow, Haley Brooke Burchett, Daniel Joseph Casey Jr., Caitlin Rose Collins, Madison Bailey Collins, Zachary Caleb Collins, Adam Lindsay Cornett, Alexandra Patricia Cox, Erica Leanne Daniels, Alexis Reagan Fugit, Cassidy Brene Fultz, Leslie Nicole Gallagher, Linda Sue Gartman, Lexan Lauren Gilbert, Lindsay Michelle Grocky, Tiffany Michelle Goff, Stephanie K. Hurst, Dustin Squire Johnson, Brandon Jacob Love, Emily Lowe Schwedneman, Alexandria Dawn Lowry, Brianna Shea Maggard, Allison Brooke Markham, Alexis Brooke Maynard, Kenna Maynard, April A. McFarlane, Peyton Money, Madison Reed Orinato, Haley Renee Patton, Maddie Brianna Reeves, Sarah Beth Robinson, Elena Danielle Ryan, Addison Sue Ann Spradlin, Emily Elaine Stanley, Allison Paige Stevens, Lakin Kennedy Stone, Patricia Angie Sweet, Mary Tedesco, Alyssa Nicole Thompson, Courtney Lynn Toll, Victoria Ambrose Toy, Bradley David Tucker, Jordan E. Turley, Megan D. White.